Steve Marsh. I'm just going to take you for a bit of a look around in my farm. On the left side of this fence, I've got 325 hectares to which has now been decertified and the contaminating GM crop is on the horizon which makes up the decertified area is approximately 70% of my property. I'll show you Swaths across 70% of my land, 1.2 k's my eastern boundary, 2.5 k's wide by 1.5 k's on my western boundary. In the foreground is a swath jam canola plant. It's still got its seeds on this plant. It's on the edge of the road on my boundary. Across the road, my neighbour's property, is sheep grazing jam canola stock. We've had 33 mils of rain in a thunderstorm. The GM canola was lying scattered through this gully system. With the minor flooding we've had, it has now washed the GM swaths all down through this water system. This swath plant has no longer got any seeds left on it. And um, I'm concerned about harvesting this crop with my machinery and my header particularly because of contaminating that machine and then further contaminating the rest of my organic uh, property. I would like to uh, thank you very much for your support fighting for the right as farmers to produce a GM free product to which we can supply to people like yourselves who want to buy a GM free product. I'd like once again to thank you very much for your support.